All right, welcome back. Another one from Lost Cabin. Thank you, Todd. Uh, Grizzness Casual, a Scotch style ale. Uh, untapped, a more sessionable take on one of our flagships, Lord Grizzly. Still malt focused with notes of toast, biscuit, nuts, and toffee. Keep it casual, 5.3%, 29 IBU. Such as a Scotch style ale. Got my Anger Scotsman glass. Haven't been to their brewery in a while. Uh, they don't really kick out much new stuff, it seems like. Seems like the past couple times I've been... Same-o, same-o. I think they're, um... One of their any IPAs, they always change it up, but... I'm not trying to make a special run there just for... A new any IPA. It's been to... It's been to the point now where... Once you've had an any IPA, you know, many as I have, they're all kind of jumbling together. It's kind of hard to screw those up. Mm, earthy, dusty. Kind of, yeah, dusty, bitter. Wood notes. Cheers. Mm. Getting even um, honey notes, toffee like they said, a little caramel, sweet, not super sweet, I mean don't get me, don't get me wrong, it's not like you're drinking caro syrup, uh, wood notes going forward. Pretty damn good for being 5.3%. Yesterday's my Friday. Went to bed a lot earlier than usual. I think I went to bed about, you know, I work nights, so stayed up all day. I was in bed by about 5.30. I uh, woke up about 2 o'clock. I've laid down for about 45 minutes, said screw it, and got up. It's like 3.40 in the morning. Might as well have a beer. good thing about working nights no matter what time of day it is you can have a beer and it's uh never seems like it's too early for anybody because if you know it's you know steven it's three something in the morning why are you having a beer because it's three something in the morning because i can i really do like this especially for being the percentage uh you know, get you a four pack, sit down, make a, a couple hours of it. Good, nice. You know, like I said, the wood, toffee, honey, uh, earthy. It's, it's It's got like a slight bitterness, but it's not dry, thankfully. So it's not going to be something you have to have a, a sip of every 20, 30 seconds just to get rid of that cat tongue. I like the shit out of it. Uh, I'll tell you what they gave you on untapped here. 3.83%, uh, which I wish it was 1 through 10. I keep saying this, but no one ever listens to me. Makes more sense. So that would be a 7.5. Uh, I think it's a lot better than that. I don't see what people's issue would be with this beer. Let me see if I can scroll down and find some idiot that gave it like a three or two or something. Here we go with this dude. Jason J. Got a taster of it. Gave it a two and a quarter. Why? Oh, this person gave it a one and a half. Taylor C. Lady, judging by your picture, you need to stick to Trulies. Taylor C. had it twice. And gave it a, a worse score the second time. Take a seat. Uh, I don't know if I'm signed in or not. I don't think I'm signed in untapped. Nope. Not signed in. Uh, no, no. I think it's really good. I'm going to go ahead and say eight and a half 
ranging to a nine because it's got the it's got the notes. They're not excessively strong. There is a sessionable style beer. Uh, percentage is lower. You know, hell, kick it out of four percent. Why not? It almost has a brown ale esque kind of a note to it. So I can see if someone's wanting stronger flavors, they could be bitching. But I'm not going to bitch. I like it. Eight and a half. I'm going to stick with that. Thank you, Todd. Kick Lost Cabin. Keep kicking out the good beers. Do a, a juicy t shirt or a, or a glassware. Damn it. I want some. Fucking, I love the goddamn juicy. Beer, the picture, everything about it. All right, we'll be seeing you.